Well, happy Saturday, folks. It's the real Captain Kirk here. It's the 1st of June, 2024. It's the start of meteorological summer, which is one June through the end of August. And uh, it's also, unfortunately, the start of the 2024 hurricane season. We are off to a, uh, again, just toward start here with uh, the severe weather season here. Again, just continues. We've added another 167 tornadoes, 506 hail events, 1,218 wind events here in the past week alone. Tornadoes are now up to 1,089 events. That's the most in 13 years, placing in the top 1% of history. So going back to 2011, if you've watched any of our videos since fall last year, we predicted this uh, would happen. And again, just the class of air masses and cycle that we're in uh, would predict this. Hail, again, most in seven years, wind, most in seven years. Unfortunately, we'll be adding again to this week. Probably not as active. We're going to shift from the central plains uh, up into the northern plains back into the heart of the Midwest heartland here as we go through uh, through this week. Again, you can see that here again uh, in the western plains here today, and then Sunday moves up into the northern plains, and then uh, maybe diminishes a little bit on Monday. But then we think this picks up again as we get back into the uh, core of the week ahead here uh, into the Midwest, more toward the Iowa, Illinois, uh, again central U.S. Looking at the La Nina here again uh, rapidly, we're in the neutral phase right now, but uh, you can see that the uh, cold water temperatures there in the equatorial Pacific, um, again off of uh, Peru and Colombia, and again that's expanding to a uh, La Nina. Models are continuing their trend of a, at least a moderate event, uh, continuing into winter this year, and then going back into what may be a neutral phase by spring 2024. But um, uh, just a telltale sign of just a very active hurricane season ahead. You eliminate the wind shear because of the lack of uh, convective activity in the Pacific and then uh, again with this really warm record warm water in the main development areas again just a potentially catastrophic season ahead here unfortunately and again you can see these much below water temperatures uh, this is a subsurface cross-section again going down um, hundreds of meters again across the entire equatorial Pacific from Indonesia to Ecuador but again all that much below is bubbling to the surface and so we'll know it'll be around here at least for the balance of 2024 Looking at last week, world summer here, ending today here, the 1st of June. Here in the U.S., it was 0.2 cooler than last year. Cools in three years. 19th cools in 39 years, so about average on a national scale. But again, uh, cooler to the north and uh, warmer to the south. Uh, looking at uh, rainfall, rainfall again off the scale. 99% wetter than last year. Wettest in three years uh, here in the U.S. Uh, Canada also much cooler, much wetter. Again, China the theme here again with... Uh, the remnants of El Nino and again that uh, Tonga volcano that just pumped uh, 4 trillion gallons of va water vapor in the atmosphere. Again, it's going to precipitate out eventually and it's been doing that for the past uh, oh, at least six months here across uh, North America. So again, this is a trend, that, uh, wet trend that will probably continue here for much of 2024. Look at this week here again, the first full week of June, ending 8 June here in the U.S. Starting to see a warmer trend here now. Again, last year got off to the, I think last year was the coolest uh, Oh, coolest in uh, many years in the start of June, and it was the driest in 12 years. Not dry this year. Uh, so a little bit warmer, 2.5 warmer than last year. Warmest in three, third warmest in 39. 118% uh, wetter than last year. What is in five, 13th was in 39 years. So again, you see all that heavier rain there in Kansas, Nebraska, Minnesota, Iowa. Again, that's probably where the heart of the severe weather will take shape here today. Again, we don't have the extreme contrast in temperatures like we had maybe last week where you have cool to the northwest, warm and humid to the east. Uh, but again, some of that, you still see some of that cooler weather there in North Dakota, Minnesota. So there's a boundary for sure that can trigger off some of these severe thunderstorms. We get next week, a week before Father's Day, again, uh, week ending 15 June, uh, same general trend, 3.7 warmer than last year, sixth warmest in 39 years, so above average national temperatures. But again, you see that cooler weather there in the uh, Heartland, uh, again, uh, all across the Ohio Valley and into some of the Mid-Atlantic. Rainfall continues to be very wet, 23% wetter than last year. What is in nine years? Sixth, what is in 39 years? So above average, once again, again, a little heavier down there in Florida. And again, maybe shifting a bit toward the South Central again uh, here this middle of June period here going into Father's Day weekend. So some good news for retail seasonal sales. They like it hot and dry is generally the theme for higher Store traffic and seasonal sales, pool pool supplies, all the things we want to buy. So again, we got part of the equation warmer, but unfortunately much, much wetter than a year ago. We just aggregate these world two-week trends here again for the fun half of June. Again, a general warming trend. Uh, cooler there maybe in the UK and parts of Central Europe, but uh, North America generally seeing a warming trend to a bit. And again, uh, rainfall continues to be pretty abundant across, uh, again, the U.S., Canada, and uh, even parts of Europe. You can see that here with the rainfall, snowfall map. So still talking snow here up there in Greenland and, uh, again, parts of uh, northern Siberia. But, again, the rest of us uh, pretty much in the rain bucket category. 
So, that, folks, you have a great week here. Again, uh, we'll be uh, off for a bit next week, uh, but we'll be back here uh, again around Father's Day. So have a great week. Mm-hmm.